नमस्ते आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक ऑन रोल ऑफ नर्स इन होम केयर फैकल्टी फॉर दिस प्रेजेंटेशन इज अ मीनाक्षी कापड़िया शी इज अ सिस्टर इन चार्ज ऑफ अ हॉस्पिस एट कम्युनिटी ऑन्कोलॉजी सेंटर अहमदाबाद गुजरात द होम केयर इज अ सेंटर विच लिंक्स टू द इन पेशंट ट्रीटमेंट इन अ हॉस्पिटल आउट पेशंट ट्रीटमेंट इन अ हॉस्पिटल अलॉन्ग विथ द कम्युनिटी रिसोर्सिस एंड प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर सेंटर इन द कम्युनिटी सो होम केयर इफ इट इज प्रोवाइडेड एप्रोप्रिएटली इट इट एक्स एज अ पिलर टू सपोर्ट द पेशंट एंड फैमिली इन प्रोवाइडिंग पेलिएटिव केयर एट होम what home care nursing means in past we used to use phrases like in home care or home care home home health care but home care nursing means any nursing assistant provided at home to the patient and family when do you need home care home nursing services encapa and capacities a wide range of healthcare services that can be easily administered at your home and home care nursing services are usually cheaper than hospital and nursing homes while being just as effective as the medical care offered at hospital or nursing home the main goal of home nursing service is to treat an illness or injury the home nursing service usually entails wound care of pressure sores or surgical wound patient and care and uh, caregiver education intravenous and nutrition therapy injections rehabilitation therapy and monitoring serious illness and unstable health status so when you need home care in post surgical phase when the maybe surgical dress a uh, wound requires frequent dressing or maybe you are discharged with a drain or a, a pipeline in, in into your wound it is also required when patient is on urinary catheter for long time it requires when patient needs wound dressing literally every day or sometimes in cancer patient the this wound dressing is required every twice a day twice or thrice a day when patient requires oxygen therapy when patient requires frequent injection when patient is bedridden then home care nurse has got a very big role to play patient with various stomas like tracheostomy or uh, colostomy ge gastrostomy etc elderly patients and patient with neurological and psychiatric illness so these are the patient requires home care so palliative nurse in home care they 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 should have a extension of basic nursing skill something more than what they are doing in a hospital setup so they have to have a develop few new skills to become a home care nurse home care nurse requires individualized care planning here they have to focus their care and work only to one patient so they it should be individualized they should remember that the patient is going through a most difficult time in the life that is why they need nurse at home and they should work with patient's family and friends they should also get acquainted with the surrounding of the patient and family and friend and they need to reassess regularly as changes occur so nurses role in home care is they they are a care provider they are educator they are advocate they can tell patient and family that this is good and this is bad and this is right thing you have to do they are manager they have to manage so many thing they are recorder they have to keep records of patient's health medication and any new development which takes place in the patient and they are evaluator they evaluate the patient's condition every day 
So, nurse's role create and implement a nursing care plan for the patient and family. They should create uh, plan out a nursing care plan for patient and family based on observation of the patient, assessment of the patient's needs, evaluation of the results of intervention and regular assessment of the situation and accordingly they should modify their plan of nursing care. So, role of a nurse in home care services, firstly evaluation of pain and symptoms. Every day they should check with the patient what is the pain score and what how is the uh, what are the new symptom develop and how he, they are improving on the older symptom with the medication. Assessment of pain and symptoms, getting all information about diagnosis and treatment received. Patient, uh, nurse should know whatever diagnosis was done and whatever treatment patient has received. Identify palliative care needs. In palliative care patient, 80 percent role is played by a nurse. Palliative care patient has got many nursing issues which is handled by nurse only. So, she should find out which are the palliative care needs of this patient. Identify psychosocial issues, nursing care plans and its execution like starting from the morning when patient gets up that how the general hygiene will be given, how oral care will be given, if patient has wound, how frequently wound dressing is required, if patient has any stoma how to manage their trauma, if patient has catheter or drain, how to take care of that, all these thing he, she has to plan. She has to understand the medicine which patient is taking and its doses, its frequency and how it is given. She should also educate the caregiver about giving medicine and nursing care, because care, caregiver also should be involved in the care, though nurse is doing but caregiver should know about it, they should be involved. So, in case if nurse is out for few hours or few days, caregiver can take over. Communication with caregivers and family members continuously about the development of the patient and establishing link between patient, community volunteer and PSC. So, uh, she should also find out first um, step of contact in the community, in the surrounding uh, healthcare uh, facilities like PSC or district hospital or tertiary care center. The procedure to be done during uh, home care by a nurse, they are, they can be, uh, it depends on the type of uh, education patient nurse has undergone or training she has taken. So, in consultation with the doctor, she can plan which are the procedures she can do at home, like urinary catheterization, nasogastric feeding tube insertion, oral care, wound care. Wound dressing differs from wound to wound. If it is bed sore dressing, it is different. If it is cancerous wound, uh, it is different. It is if it is uh, related to surgery, it is different. Then catheter care like uh, intercostal drain, pack tube, etc. Stoma care, giving injection as per doctor's instruction. So she should be able to give injection by subcutaneous route, intramuscular, intravenous, etc. And she should also know how to sterilize this all material used for the patient for dressing or for injection purpose at home, how to sterilize. At home, this, the, the patient may not have sterilizer, so it should be sterilized in pressure cooker and she should know the technique. So, practical demonstration of all such procedure is a key to educate caregivers in their own home setting and it will go a long way in building their confidence. So, during all this procedure involve the caregiver also, educate them also. So, they, they will be empowered and they will be confident in taking care of the patient. Role of community health nurse in home nursing. Sometimes a, in community based palliative care, there may, in the team there may be a community nurse. So, what 
role she has to play when she visits a patient at home. So, first of all she will she should have records of her history of family to ascertain the cause and duration of the illness. She should be able to provide treatment and related care like dressing or giving injection, demonstrating the nursing procedure to educate the family members and giving medicine as per the standing orders and providing essential nursing care in the grave situation. Suppose the patient uh, is in at home and there is a community based palliative care services available, there is a nurse over there. And in emergency patient starts bleeding from cancerous wound, then this nurse should know in emergency situation how to handle this situation, how to help the patient and how to refer the patient to the higher center. So, nurse's role is a very important and very huge role she has to play in community. She is a care provider, she is a educator, she is a advocate, manager, collaborator, she is a leader, she takes decision, she leads a uh, group of people in community, she is a researcher, etcetera. Then there is one type of uh, home care nurse, we call them home health aide. They just, if, if the patient is mobile, only elderly patient, mobile patient and they need assistance, then this type of nurses are also can play a big role. They help the client get dress, undress and maintain proper clothing. They provide and assist them personal services like bathing and grooming usually required for the elderly population. They, uh, they will check the administration of the prescribed medication and they may be, uh, they will accompany the patient to the healthcare services or doctor's visit. So, they are home health aides. So, first and foremost role is personal care and companionship is known as non-medical care, home care health, home health uh, aid services, senior care, homemaker care, assistive care or companion care, they help the patient with their day to day activities. Then second variety is private duty nursing care. This we oftenly see uh, in post surgical patient, when patient is after surgery sent home and he needs nursing care for few weeks to few months then this type of nurses should be, uh, they appoint the such nurses and this care is little bit long term care and hourly nursing care at home for adults with chronic illness, injury or disability is uh, done. Third is home health care, it is a short term physician orient, uh, physician directed care designed to help a patient prevent or recover from illness, injury or hospital stay. So, here um, a patient is there at home, but intermittently he needs help in giving medication or maybe wound dressing or catheter care, then doctor guides uh, their uh, nurse to go and visit this patient at home. As we, uh, we have discussed earlier. The general roles of an any nurse in home care is medication administration, administration of intravascular fluid, wound care, dressing changes, taking vital sign and keeping the record, performing head to toe physical assessment every day, drawing labs, assisting with activities of uh, daily living such as bathing toileting, grooming, assisting with mobility, they, uh, they take the patient out in wheelchair or with the uh, support, developing a plan of care with physician and education of care, carer, family member and community volunteers. There are few examples of these uh, services we will go through. First is personal care and companionship services as we talked earlier, they help in assisting in the daily uh, routine. 
with ambulation, with taking the patient out, with medication and engaging them in various hobbies and supervision of their activities. Another is private duty nursing care services for the patients who are uh, for uh, of such a uh, conditions like traumatic brain injury, spinal injury and they are on bed for long time, ventilator care, tracheostomy care, here they may need many types of uh, drug administration and uh, stoma care etcetera. And home health care services, it is a short term nursing services may be provided by a nursing home or a doctor or a family uh, group of palliative care team. They may provide physical therapy also, occupational therapy, speech and language pathology and medical social worker and home health aid services. The main role of nurse in home care, it is the care with compassion. They are, they should become a part of family and a personal aid to patient. And, and the goal of care is to make patient as comfortable as possible and if this is done efficiently, the home care nurse role uh, is a very important and if it is done efficiently, the outcome of the patient is much, much better than the hospital care. Thank you very much.